So in this video, we'll be looking at the effects section, which is down here. You can load it by clicking on the effects tab. And there's also a reverb section if you're using Patch Up Pro. So this is a really straightforward section. So we don't need to spend too much time here, but I will give you a little demonstration on what's on offer. So first of all, we can activate our EQ. So let's just play through this vocal sample I've got here. And late at night, when I go to And we'll bring in the EQ now. Of this is just like any other EQ you see, and you've got a low shelf here, and then a mid band with Q, and a high shelf. Next, we have chorus, and, and this could also be switched to a flanger. This over here is basically an LFO acting upon the time, and you can increase the depth there. And you can also change the phase. And what this will do is just have one LFO working on the right and one LFO working on the left. They'll be out of phase with each other, so it'll give you more stereo width. And finally, you have feedback. So it's pretty straightforward stuff, and these are very common effects that you probably would have seen in many places. Next, we have delay here. This is a ping pong delay. And I've got an offset here. So it gives me more stereo width. I've got sync along with time. And we have cross delay as well. The difference with cross delay is it feeds some of the left into the right and some of the right into the left, into the feedback loop. Finally, we have stereo here. And then if you come over here, if you've got the pro version, you can send this to reverb. This is basically the same as raising one of these controls here. In fact, if I go to this control right here and raise it up, you're gonna see this has been increased. We're actually on layer B. So just keep that in mind. That's why I'm working with layer B's amount here. This is our reverb, you have pre-delay, and then you time for your low, main overall, and high bands, as well as their crossovers. Size and width. So, all really lovely effects here, and very straightforward to use. Don't forget, however, there's a lot you can do in the granular oscillator itself to add some interesting effect. So we can randomize the pitch just a very small amount. Use the offset. Just be sure to use a small amount for a nice stereo effect. This is actually a very effective sort of micro pitch effect to give you a nice stereo width effect on a vocal. Now it's not the last time we'll see these in the series because I will be using them in the sound design videos as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.